guys, I'm out uh, getting ready to milk. I need to grab some things from the barn for uh, family. I don't know if you guys can see or hear that. It's raining. That's not good. I'd much rather have snow. Um, the weatherman last night said they thought that by the time this precipitation got to us, it would still be snow, all snow. Well, it was snowing earlier. Should have realized paid more attention it was really big thick heavy flakes and that oftentimes happens before it turns to snow or turns to rain and sure enough it turned to rain so uh, I'm not sure what our plans for today are going to be I need to grab some butter for my wife a couple other things so I'm gonna do that head back inside and then go out and milk I'll let you know what we're gonna do but not good I'd much rather have and the other thing about ice is it's going to end up with power outages because the ice can stick to the you know tree branches and to power lines, whereas snow you know after a certain point it just you know drops off, it can't you know stack any higher, and snow is a heck of a lot lighter than ice. So I'm really hoping this ends quickly. So. This is just a couple minutes. I, uh, in hindsight, I probably shouldn't have shoveled the driveway because then the rain would have gotten caught by the snow and when I shoveled it off, it would have been dry underneath. Oops. Um, it doesn't look like it's gonna rain long, but I mean, if we get a quarter of an inch of ice, that's gonna be a problem. We will have to see. Anyway, I'm heading out to milk. I don't know if I've ever shown you guys this before. So when I'm done milking, I have to go get the green bucket from over in the corner there. And when I do that, Prudy comes and stands right there. Effectively blocking my way from getting out. And she just stands there. I mean, I could walk by her and kind of give her a nudge to get her out of the way. But that's where she stands. She just stands there like, I'm good. You can't go around me. Right? See this, but this is all ice. That was not there before. Okay, guys, we have um, what might be an unfortunate situation. We'll have to see. Oh, that was a big hole. Um, as you guys know, or many of you know, I'm pretty hands off with my animals. Like, if my animals need to be high maintenance, they're, they're not for me. I'm gonna end up getting rid of them. Now if you see this sow right here, do you see how big she's bagged up? See that? Well, late winter, so probably, or maybe early winter, like November, the, um, see that fence panel over there? I had the boys over there, and the girls were over here with the, the piglets. So I don't know if you guys can see that. He's following her. She might birth soon. Um, because I separated them after the piglets were born so that the piglets, you know, had some more room and stuff. Well, in November, they busted through that fence panel in so that they could get through with everybody. Um, and when boys and girls get together, you know what happens. So I'm pretty sure we're going to have piglets soon. She looks like she's um, ready to drop some piglets quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take as much hay as I can and bed down uh their hutch area here so that they can stay uh stay warm that's the plan so i've bedded it down there's probably eight to ten inches of dry hay so hopefully if they drop piglets which it looks like they're gonna do they're good mamas and uh they keep them warm that's the plan I don't think this guy likes me being in here. He hasn't been like aggressively and aggressive and trying to come over and bite me or anything, but he keeps on walking by me making the burp, 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 burp noise. So maybe he'll be the one who gets uh who gets turned into bacon. The other one just kinda this guy over here is just like, ah whatever, cool. Life is good. I also threw some hay in there for them to eat. These are the first pigs that I've ever owned. Um, so I don't know if this is normal, but they sure like hay. Like, 
they're really good with hay. And I know they're more of a foraging type breed. So if you guys have ever had pigs before, let me know if your pigs liked hay uh, or only green. Said boy one uh, was able to drop time in three of his events so he swam three events and then because yesterday was canceled they allowed time trials which is pretty much where you just get to pick a stroke you want to swim and they fit you in at the end and time you so that you can have an official time uh, and he swam the 100 breast for that and swam almost the exact same time that his seed time was so he didn't drop time on that but he didn't really lose time either. So you can see his little head peeking over right there. He, um, I told him I'm very proud of him. He, uh, he's done, like, because we're so busy with basketball and swim, I'm kind of amazed at the fact that he's been able to keep, continue, you know, dropping time in a lot of his events. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what he does when basketball's over and he's able to uh, devote a little bit more time to swim. So. We are on our way now to my in-laws. Um, my wife's aunt is in town from Texas, so everybody's getting together to have dinner, uh, say hi to them. Uh, my wife took the rest of the kids from the swim meet there. Initially, I had taken this guy and the other two boys and Homestead Girl 2 out. That was a big old thing of snow that just hit our windshield because that person didn't clean their car off. I'm sure you guys heard that. That smacked hard. Anyway, we're heading over there. Uh, I don't know if we'll take any more video, but we'll try to see. Hey guys, I'm kind of shadowy here. I can walk backwards and maybe you'll see me a little bit. We had a good dinner. I uh, got to visit with some family. If I fall over, go ahead and laugh. It's cool. Um, we actually, since we've got two cars, I'm going to take home the... Uh, the oldest five kids and my wife is going to stick around for a little bit and talk to her parents um, and then she'll be home in a little while so i'm gonna end the vlog in this dark snowy night it is beautiful out I and mean, the snow is gorgeous it really is it's great just uh when they don't clear the roads it makes it difficult to get anywhere so i hope you guys had a wonderful day i really appreciate you guys and i will see you guys tomorrow <laughs>